What's good, YouTubers and YouTubettes? This is JB Sports back again with another one. Seven-time major winner Venus Williams loses in straight sets to Alina Swisfalina in a back-and-forth match. 6-4, six, 6-4. Four, six, four. You know, it was very competitive, and uh, it was an exciting match. Usually in a straight set match, you know, you would think a lot of, a lot of times it's uh, – one person dominating the match, but for a, six, for a straight set match, this was very, very entertaining. It could have easily went to three sets. Uh, Switzerland came out on fire in the first set, controlled the tempo, got it, got uh, Venus in some long rallies, and was able to win that first set 6-4. But Venus made adjustments. She started uh, shortening up on her points, and uh, she was able to go up 3-0 in the second set. But all of a sudden, she got caught up in the... Uh, a couple of long rallies that she that she did win, but I think uh, Switzerlander got her, uh, you know, thinking that she could hang in long rallies, and uh, Venus started, you know, battling with it in long rallies. Instead of going for a winner, she started uh, battling with it in long rallies, and that was a, a, a bad mistake by Venus' part, as uh, Elena was able to come back from 3-0 and won five straight games to go up 5-3. Uh, Venus uh, Williams was able to hold on to her serve, to get it at 5-4, but it was a battle even just to doing that as she had to fight out for a couple of uh, a couple of match points and she was able to uh, get it at 5-4. But in the uh, on her on her, with the uh, match on her racket, Switzerlina was able to serve the game out 6-4 and win the matchup. Uh, Serena's main problem was I'm my bad. Venus's main problem was unforced errors. You know, and first serve percentage was very very low, and she was able to get her first serve off. Uh, she would have had a better chance of winning this match, but going into the uh, going into constantly, constantly going to a second serve when she was unable to uh, get a first serve over allowed uh, Switzerland to step a couple of feet onto the court, and she was able to time her second serve and, uh, and basically dictate the uh, points after that. So that was a key uh, uh, advantage for Switzerland in winning that matchup. Another thing, uh, Serena needs to. Uh, Worry about man. She 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 played in spurts, played well in moments, but was not consistent. And that seemed like that's been uh this 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 match reminded me of her career, her last since she won the last um major championship. I guess I believe it was Wimbledon beating her younger sister Serena. So ever since then she has had a hard time in majors with consistency. You know playing together, putting like you know to win a major you got to put like six you know around six great uh, uh matchups. Under your belt, man. You know you can't play good one time and then one, you, play, you can't play good in the first round and then in the second round be inconsistent. And that was her problem uh, today. You know she played great. You know the first round she beat uh, Zayn Sasi six one six zero dominator. She did like one of the sleepers to maybe even win the uh, U.S. tournament. But came back out here and uh, you know that's been plaguing her ever since she won. Like I said, won a seven major, man. Just consistency. She came out and. Didn't have that same uh, firepower that she displayed in the first round and quickly got down in the first set, you know, and, uh, and lost the first set 6-4, which was actually not as close as that score indicated. Actually, the second set of 6-4 was actually more competitive than the first set of 6-4. But give uh, Switzerland uh, credit. She's a top five player, playing very well, She's had a real strong 2019 and she's a person that can I can easily see playing in the second weekend of the U.S. Open. So it was a good matchup. It's a shame Venus lost. Her sister uh, Serena will be playing tonight. I'll be breaking that uh, that matchup down when they uh, when they play. And uh, in the end result of that, I'll be breaking that down, man. But just uh, sad to see a all-time great go down a day in Venus Williams. Um, you know, and it's just been like I said, it's been a play going on. A lot of people was maybe point to her age. She, I think she's 39 years old, and that might have a have a uh that might have an effect on her up and down play not be able to sustain it playing at a high level because like i said this match today she's played she displayed old venus at, at times venus venus williams that won uh seven majors at times but she just couldn't sustain it and maybe the age of being 39 years old have uh robbed her of uh, her consistency uh you know it, not, not only uh round around but uh set to set it was, just, it was just really, really robbed of that. So that's just what it is. And uh, we just um, wish her the best, you know, in uh, 2019. You know, that's, that's the end of a major quest trying to get number eight this year. She'll be starting back up next year in the Australian Open. 
and uh, hopefully she can make some improvements, get get that finally, you know, try to, get, you know, hopefully her and her coaches can work on just getting her uh, her uh, her service game on, man. What one thing she is she obviously does when she's struggling with that first serve, when she's tossing the ball, the ball is all behind her. When she throws up in the air, it's almost like she's throwing it behind her her, her head when she throws up in the air. And she, when she's when you when you're trying to do that, you know you're not leaving yourself a lot of room for error, man. You're trying to catch the ball and meet contact with your racket with the ball, and you're throwing your toss is just bad. Somebody got to just tell her, man, just throw the toss straight up in the air. It's nothing nothing tricky about it. But she her toss her toss seemed to seal, and it seemed like it it almost uh, ends up behind her head when she throws her toss up. She's gonna have to work on that. That's been a problem for year for years. And she doesn't seem like she's able to overcome that when she's getting gets in uh, tough situations out there. So that's one thing she got to do: throw a straight uh, toss on the first serve, get most first serves in. Her forehand was was good. She had a lot of winners on her forehand. Her backhand was a little bit inconsistent. She got to get a little bit more consistent with her backhand. She's get a lot of winners on her backhand, but she get a lot of unforced forced errors on her backhand. It seems that her uh, her forehand is a little bit more consistent. She's got a little bit more. Uh, she probably got one of the most fluid forehands in the game, in the history of the game. Very, very fluid forehand, man. She doesn't even seem like she's swinging her racket that hard. She's like she just, she just flowing with the racket, man, with no kind of power. And it just she hits it and it makes real uh, clear and strong contact. And she's able to hit a lot of winners, or at least dictate a lot of her points off her forehand. The forehand to me is her strongest. Uh, obviously, it's her strongest strongest uh part of an offensive game more stronger than a backhand and she showed that today man but just wasn't consistent enough in her shots too many unforced errors so again uh, venus williams lose six four six four to sweet switzerlina elena switzerlina in the u.s open in the second round she's out this is jb sports the man the myth the legend i holla <laughs>